Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In the last episode, we saved Lily, reunited her with E, and we stole some blood from a, and from a blood clinic. <laughs> vampire dropping the blood bank. Anyway, um, this episode we're back at the asylum, because I actually remember there is a quest that you can get from Nox. Golden Ghoul, what say you? Around for my master. The nasty dude you would not speak of? Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about it. Oh man, his name's Bertram Toe. He's a new Wow, small world. What do you do for the nasty dude? Oh, okay. well, Bertram, a life eater from across the sea. <laughs> Tell me more of this creature. Oh man, this guy, this, this thing got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around all the time, like. The cat plays with its prey. Oh man, it's far more mess than you know. And if you choose yes. I will do this dark deed. Oh well, Golden Ghoul. So yeah, um, luckily both the quests that I both the quests that we currently have and the quests that I'm about to pick up both involve me going to the same place. All right, so we have to go. Wait, what the hell? What's I, what? What's with the phone lines? I I don't understand. Is this supposed to be wind physics or what? Jeez, that, 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 that kind of freaked me out for a second. Anyway. That doomsday, that doomsayer is still at it. Oh, speaking of doomsayers, did you, did you guys enjoy your apocalypse? Ah, if you guys, you know, if y'all, if you are unknown to this, basically... A bunch of people read the Mayan calendar wrong and told everybody that the world was supposed to end on the 21st. And, since I am up uploading this video on the 22nd, it was yesterday. So, congratulations, kiddos! You've survived an apocalypse! Anyway, before we talk to this guy, we want to go over here and access Kilpatrick's Crime Pewter. Go A through F. From V, and we find out that the license that whoever was tailing Knox dropped, it's not his, because the person who owns this is dead. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Now then, we talk to this guy now. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Are you the key master? Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Keymaster, huh? Might be worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica Keymaster. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, it sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. Well, excuse me. Do you alone hold the keys? I gotta have a few 
for the bondsman to keep the place open 24 hours, plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> Hunting bounties sounds exciting. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Does your hunter have a good and have good balls of brass? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Maybe I can find the hunting hunter. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Okay, I'll do, and I'll dig up this hunter of bounties. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Thank you. I'll bring him back, my jolly little jailbreaker. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is take care of Nox's little Asian vampire problem. So, instead of going straight to Mercurio's place, which is actually where um, Carson is staying, Carson stays in the door adjacent to Mercurio's, we're going to go into the hospital again. And down back into the blood bank, even though we don't need any. Well, I mean, we could go for a snack. But, you know, nothing worth wasting money on. Ignore the ghoul. Actually, you know, I wonder if that guy is still in here. Nope, no one in here. Usually there'll be, like, a guy in there. Just, like, not an NPC or anything, just a random guy that you can feed on. Let's see, where is it? Here you go, laundry room. But we will not be doing laundry, oh no, our laundry is not calling us. We're gonna go in here. Gonna go into the morgue. There's the corpse of... Wow, he looks really underfed. Go in here. We can pawn this later, and a f key to Foxy Boxes. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Stuff's gonna be getting too hot for YouTube. Come on, there we go. I mean, since we're right here, we might as well go and find out what's up with Carson. Killing two birds with one stone, you know? Damn, Mercurio, you still haven't cleaned this place up. Where's Mercurio? Oh my god, he died! Not really, he's not dead, guys. Anyway, ooh, shiny! Wait, where is it? Where? Shiny? Shiny go where? Uh, let me grab this. Play this. Check, check. Is this thing recording? Subtitles are in the top left hand corner, guys. Uh, anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. So you I found where shoot he's been things. hiding, and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up on another lead I got too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. Find out where he is for some extra EXP, and read the book so you oh, need a higher research skill. Well, let's see how we're doing on- whoa, we have plenty to- we can afford- we can afford one little research. Do that. Read so you want to shoot things to increase our marksmanship. 
think that thing is like has a ridiculously high lockpick level. I can't remember. But first things first. You, you, you guys ready to go to Foxy Boxes? Are, are you guys ready to see some Foxy Boxes? Cause I know I am. You can go in there later for a quest that you get. Um, later in the game, it's another side quest. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hello, strip- Wait, wh where are the strippers? Well, uh, the aren't these kind of clubs open up, like, really, really late? Maybe, may maybe it's a sur maybe they're holding a surprise party for us. Hello, strippers, I- Oh. It, it it literally is just a a place filled with boxes. So what? Hello. Oh shit! I I have an axe. Wait, where where did he? Okay, there you are. Come on, come on. Dang, this guy is easy. Oh shit. Dead. So yeah, he's dead. And we get the crossbow and the shingunto. Which is nice because you usually don't get the crossbow until later in the. The door's eating me! Shit, shit. Come, come on. There we go. Doors. Man, friggin' Merrick was right. Doors are evil. Alright. So, since we're right here, we might as well go into the asylum until Nox said his whole problem is over. And he doesn't have to worry about being stalked by an Asian madman anymore. Uh, hello! Hey! So, like, how are you doing on that thing we talked about? The life eater has enjoyed his last meal. Oh, thank God! Oh, man! Yes! That thing is hounding me like every night! But I still haven't heard anything from Birch. I'm sorry, okay? I'm still let him know. Now, I have no way to repay you. That's fine. The life eater was a thing of death and shadow. Birch said it's like a vampire. It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. Uh-oh. Now, if you want to, you can ask him where you can buy guns in Santa Monica, and he'll, do, and he'll point you Trip's way. And, tri and if, for those who don't know, Trip is the owner of the pawn shop that you live above. Hey, don't take any brass nickels, golden little golden ghoul. Farewell. So yeah, we get some EXP for that. And you know, experience is always nice. It helps you get more money. Let's see. Next is the tattoo parlor. Just somewhere around here. I think it's like right across the street from the pawn shop. Should be. The phone lines are still like friggin' I don't know, suffering from epilepsy or something. I mean, geez, first epileptic trees, now epileptic phone lines. What's next? So let's see, d there's nobody here. I mean, well, I mean, it is kind of late. Seeing as how it's always conveniently nighttime. Well, I have to say, these designs are pretty awesome. I wouldn't get any of these on my body, though, because, well, I just, I don't like the idea of getting a tattoo in general. You need to think about what that kind of stuff would look or would look like when you're older, like... Well, Carlos Mencia said it best. You could get a giraffe wing and... Eh. No, damn it. Bleh. You could get a unicorn somewhere on your body when you're older, but when... And uh, when you're younger... And then when you're older, it'll look like a retarded giraffe. Anyway. Yes. Hello. My Wait, what the... What happened to the phone? 
Like, it, it went from my ear back onto the receiver. I did, what? No, can you solve this mystery of missing McGee? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? I'll just seek missing McGee. You are? Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? Why do you want to know? He's a friend of one of my personalities. Oh, I, I see. Why do you sound so nervous? I'd be delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it? Where is this devilish dwelling? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Okie dokie. I look forward to buzzing your basement. Very good. And uh, might I say that you have the most colorful way of saying things. Very interesting dissection of the language. Well, anyway, speak with you soon. Well, at least somebody appreciates how I talk around here. Almost everybody and their mother is like, oh no, it's a Malkavian, they talk funny. Because God forbid we meet somebody who talks funny. Let's see. Oop. Gimbal's prosthetics. Buzz. Ah, the Limb Lord. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. Nope, two buzzes are the same. Buzz. Hello. Welcome oh, to hello. Prosthetics and medical supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Eh, uh, yep. Tell me your name, Limb Lord. Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimble. Stanley Gimble. But, oh, Stanley no Gimble. You can call me Stan. He's so... I, I don't know. I'm trying to find a word for it. Let us speak of the mysterious McGee. Mm hmm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. But McGee didn't show up for his mugshot? No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of um, resume, you might say. Mm -hmm. and that was the last I'd heard of him. This is sounding more and more suspicious. Are you sure that you didn't just ask him for nudes? What about Carson, Hunter of Bounties? Carson? No. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look! I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Dig for this treasure, Limlord. Don't mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Okie dokie. Oh, you have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. No. That, that was kind of creepy, to be honest. What's, what's back here, did he? Hello. Mannequins. Why would you sell mannequins, though, if you're a prosthetics person? Then again, I don't know much about the business, so... Hey! Blood pack. That's always nice. Ooh, to say Mr. McGee does not take very good put very good care of his workplace. Let's see, I guess that he does the surgery there, he keeps his tools in there. Wonder what's in I wonder what's over here. <laughs> Oh, this must be the, where they do the main surgery. Huh? Hello? Oh, hey! No! You gotta get me out of here, man! This guy's a freaking nut job! Do what now? Who, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and the key over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man! Freaking crazy! Crazy, man! 
How do I open this curious cage? Whoa! I have a sword! Don't touch me! I run a blog! And why why are you fighting me with a severed arm, Mr. Gimbal? Ow! Ow! And wham! Let's get Mr. Carson out of here. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Sure it does. Here's Johnny. Ha ha ha, that's funny. Cut it with the Carson jokes, will ya? Just me one. I didn't notice this ain't exactly the tonight show down here. Kilpatrick the Keymaster sent me. He did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He has more bounties for you to hunt. What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Kimball took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Aww. I shall tell him this troubling truth. Farewell. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Get the black ones for the red one when you return. So I guess McGee's in here. Oh. Um. So yeah, if you go over here, you can actually pick up the severed arm that McGee fights you with. Anyway, I think look, this would probably be a good place to leave off the episode. Now, off screen, I'm going to go ahead and talk to Arthur, collect my reward. There is another quest that he can give you, but for me, like, I think that just involves too much running around. Because, you know, I mean, I know a lot of you want me to just get on with the main story. So, yeah. Um, we won't be doing that, be and we won't be doing that other side quest, because next, and because next time on Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, we're going downtown. So, I will see you guys next time. Eh. Sorry guys, I just kind of had a brain fart right there. I shouldn't be recording while I'm so tired. It's like 3 to 4 in the morning. Holy shit, I need to go to bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines where we go downtown to tell the Corey that we blew up a warehouse. See you soon everybody and take care.